1.30 Monday afternoon. Yes, I'm in around. Officer Tommy Evans is on his way to an Alexandria apartment. You have a, a suicidal call. With him is his partner, Dr. Megan Hensinski. Do you have any information about who the person is? She's not another officer, but a mental health expert. They have me wear a vest underneath for safety, just in case. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Grow up right now. Hey guys. This is a rare glimpse into Alexandria's first code response program, or ACOR. As police grapple with how to better address behavioral health calls, we see how pairing up an officer with a mental health clinician can work. This is a third party caller saying she's feeling suicidal, etc. She hasn't responded to any of my calls. She's got something going on, but she hasn't opened up. Hey, how's it going? Because of the nature of the situation, we kept our cameras in the hallway and are not using the woman's answer to police. Officer Evans scans the room for any weapons before stepping out. I, I could kind of sense she just needed a little female time. For the next 20 minutes, Dr. Hensinski puts the woman at ease and listens to her. I'm a psychologist with the city. I'm not a police officer. Okay. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what was going on? Just Even if you're not trying to hurt yourself, it does seem like something else is kind of distressing you. And if there's anything that we can do to help you, We'd love to do that. She finds out the woman is having problems with her boyfriend. Hensinski comforts her, assesses the risk, and ultimately provides some resources on site. One of the things that we can do is I can give you a phone number. They are trained in helping women and individuals who have been part of these kind of tumultuous relationships. You do the you same. Too. The city is now budgeting to add two additional teams by the summer so they can serve more calls. Yeah. A recent evaluation of the program found the A-Corp team were more likely to resolve calls on the scene or diverted them to other mental health services. As a result, the A-Corp team has been able to divert 71% of their calls from arrests. Most often people who are experiencing a mental health crisis don't need a law enforcement presence. They're not criminals, right? They're, they're sick. This allows us to bring the experts to the crisis to help de-escalate and try to determine what's the best resolution. The program launched last fall, and since then there have been nearly 1,000 behavioral health calls. The team, who work 10-hour shifts four days a week, responded to 16% of them. More than half were related to unusual behavior or threats and harm to self. So the police officer sh who shows up uh, is in a softer uniform, in an unmarked vehicle. It doesn't feel like a criminal justice intervention. It feels like a therapeutic intervention. It takes a lot of liability off of the officers. But every call is different and may pose some dangers. I'm used to kind of just jumping into situations and just trying to de-escalate and do whatever we can to defuse. I think that was a big learning curve because we're looking at things at two different aspects. Now, while there are early signs of success, there is still room for improvement, including better data collection and more training and collaboration so 911 dispatchers can better categorize the calls. After all, it really will just require more time to adapt to a new mind and cultural shift. In Alexandria, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.